left it off is we did the delay, we implemented this another preference, and we had it as just another text field. So it shows, manifests itself as, if I go into menu, preferences, delay, and it asked me to type in some delay in, in minutes or seconds, right? It's not, it's not that intuitive what it does and how it works. So just a tiny little change, if we wanted to make it into the um, list, like when this pops up, it'd be nicer to have a pull down that says five, 10 you know, minutes, half an hour, an hour, that sort of thing, right? Uh, so let me, let's do that. Uh, so to do that, delay would no longer be a uh, edit preference, so I'm gonna delete it. but it would be a list preference or a checkbox no, not checkbox, that's multiple uh, list preference right. so list preference still has the same things like you need a key which is delay you need a title which by now we have Right, title delay. You need summary, which by now we have it's summary delay delay summary. But what it's missing is that we need entries and entry values. So this is what's new now. Right. So far so good? So entries are going to be the names and the values are going to be their corresponding values. They need to match in terms of the number, right? So if you have five entries, you should have five corresponding values, right? Um, they're going to be, uh, you know, the easiest way to do them is to do them as, as, um, as what do you call it, uh, arrays. Um, so we can add them as, value, as values in here as a new resource. So it's not... Well, the first one is going to be a string. Okay. Uh, does this give me the option? No, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't give me the option here. What you want to do is you want to do an array. So since I, this tool doesn't seem to give me the option to do that, do it that way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new values. Or I could add it to existing strings. Like for example, for strings, you could add it to strings. And you could add here an array of strings. Add array. <coughs> right? Delay names. So you can now add the values for these properties, right? So for example, I, I could say I could say every minute every five minutes. Every half hour, what's that? I open up strings, so that's strings, yeah. You don't see what? <laughs> so if you got, so the UI may look different um, because, uh, like I said, it did change differently. But it, one easy way to do it is you can just do it in XML, right? So just do this, right? So you're creating, and you can use the, like, you can. You, so just do Control Space 
Oh, control space doesn't work in this UI. It did in the old one. So they broke. They it created a new feature, but they broke the old feature. Okay. So this is what it look. This is what I've added basically. Right. So these are the array names. And I just have three items. I could add, I guess, a fourth item. Right? Something like that. So far so good. Now, you could do the, um, you could also do the, uh, the second one, the second array that we need. So this one is going to be the names part, and that one is going to go into here. So entities names. So that's going to be our string. So it's going to be our array data names. Right. So that's how we specify delay names. We now need to create the other one, which is going to be for entity values. Now, values, um, again, it'd be, in an ideal world, there would be integers. I believe there's still a bug with this. Last time I did this, there was a bug. So, for example, if I try to create a resource, um, let me try this. It may not work, but if I do uh, values, new Android XML file, I'll say values is going to be... Uh, Sorry, it's going to be values. Uh, it doesn't really matter if I do this, integers. Um, I could, so if in here now I could create an integer array. Right? So I could create an, uh, you guys probably have a UI that looks like this, right? Okay, so, so integer array, I could say delay values. Save it. Now I can say add right and I could add an item okay and so now that item could have a value now the values must match these so we had minute five minutes half an hour and hour so a minute is 60 thousand milliseconds right then I would add another one I'll, I would call it 60 uh, so five minutes is going to be 300 thousand milliseconds right <clears throat> another item half an hour it's gonna be so 60 times uh, 30 you know 1.8 million right correct Well, uh, no, sorry, we're sorting seconds or milliseconds? Seconds. seconds. All right, let's keep, okay, let's do that in seconds. All right, so in half an hour, so that's basically 60 seconds times 30 minutes, so that's one point, uh, that's a couple of fewer zeros, right? Okay. Half an hour, and then I had, I think, one hour. Okay, so one hour is going to be 3,600 seconds, right? So I'm going to fix this, I'm going to take milliseconds off so if you if you know if the you tool doesn't work for you ultimately this is what I did I just created an integer array and so on. now this integer array could have lived in any file it could have lived in strings XML as well it's just it's a little more appropriate to live in integers XML 
for numbers x and o theorem. In other words, the file itself is not that important. So far, so good. So, uh, so that's basically uh, that. So now, if I go prefs and I do uh, values, I could try to find those array and delay values, and bam, I, I hooked it up. I'm gonna just run this first fun just to see if it actually works. So I think it's gonna work on this end, but I think it's not gonna work when we parse it. We may have to switch this over to strings. <clears throat> All right, so menu preferences. So it died. My index of value, hmm. So let me see. So it died and it died. So I got one, two, three, four, and here I got one, two, three, four. So that's fine. But let me see. What if I actually move this? Because I think it's dying because it needs strings. String array, string array. Try this again. There we go. So this is what I wanted, right? Every minute, every five minutes, every half an hour, every hour, right? So this is much more intuitive to a user, right? So if I pick, for example, every every minute, right? Go back, menu start service. So that just ran. So we'll see in like about, you know, a minute if it actually runs. Um, if it runs in 30 seconds, then it's probably using our default, um, which is not good. And if it doesn't run at all, it's also not good. So. So we just passed the thirty. Uh, we just passed the thirty second mark. So it didn't run the thirty seconds. We'll see if it's one minute. Anybody? Any questions in the meantime about any of this? Yeah. That just ran. Yeah. Can I get rid of? Yeah. So integers XML is not something I use anymore. So I can get rid of that file. I was just something that I tried. It doesn't work, so it still doesn't support the integers. It, yeah, it's yeah. got to be in string, right? Good. Cool. So uh, this was just basically we're just wrapping up some stuff from lunch. So uh, f from uh, from before that had to do with preferences. So any questions so far on preferences or any of that, how that works? Yeah. How do you what?
How do you test that the value is a string value? Let me take a look. Yeah, so all we did is we changed the delay preference, which used to be a te edit text preference, right? Which is just a piece of text, to a list preference. And list preference behave for the most part the same. It still has the key and title, right? You said key is the key, title, optionally summary. But what was new is that it also needed to provide entries, um, uh, both name part and the value part. And I kind of wanted to mix and match a little bit just to kind of show you, hey, you can also do arrays as, uh, as resources, right? Like think like days of the week, right? Or months in the year, uh, that sort of stuff, right? So that's why I kind of wanted to point out those things, okay? Um, and, uh, and that was it. Questions? Works? Yeah. So, so what we did in string and in strings XML, we added an array. You can do it via, uh, the, the UI in the new, um, tools. You click on this to create an array, and then you click on this to create an add an item to an array, right? So that's kind of how it looked like in the new UI, right? So that's 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 this button created that. So this creates a basic string. This creates an array of strings. This creates an item for a string. It's kind of intuitive. They actually did a pretty good job with the icons in this case. Even I figured it out. These numbers are you don't really mean it's just an index, don't, you can ignore it. But ultimately, it's all XML, right? So you can always flip over to XML, and as you can see, it just looks like that. Right? Um, so our updater service doesn't need to be adjusted because our updater service was simply saying get me a preference with, for a key delay. It doesn't care what type was that a pull down, was it this, was it that, right? Speaking of, one important thing that we didn't talk about was where this stuff is stored. We briefly talked about it, right? So again, um, remember ADB shell? So, ADB shell is your friend. So you can now go to data, data, right? com.example.yamba, I think, right? LS. There's my shared preferences. So, CD shared prefs, LS, right? There's an XML file. I can cat this file, and there it is. So, as you can see, delay is just a piece of text, right? Stored in there. So we de we define the delay array like this, right? Like what we just talked about. This is how we defined it. We have two of them, one for names, one for values. The way we used it is because in the preferences as opposed to using the edit text we switch to list preference which has name value pairs mm -hmm. so as opposed to just saying type in some number it says would you like five minutes 15 minutes an hour and so on right mm -hmm. and one of the new proper one of the ways list preference is different is that it requires use of uh, these two it, you gotta tell it what goes in the name names and what goes into values that's it.